Greetings fellow tubers, tis I, Dean. And here's a little PSA before uh, the video of Duskers. Because of, you know, life, uh, everything seems to have been pushed back for a little bit, which means that Card Hunters is coming out on Wednesday, Bastion on Thursday, Cogline on Friday, and unfortunately, Crying Sons has to be cancelled because of encoding issues. And I'm not going to release a video that's all jaggedy and bumpy, so we're just gonna shove that under the rug until I can get a stronger rig. The entirety of this video is going to be post commentary while I'm watching a replay of the video so I know when to comment where because where I had recorded the video was not exactly conducive to live commentary so without further ado back to your regularly scheduled programming Greetings, fellow tubers, tis I, Gary Dean, and welcome back to Duskers. Now where we had last left off, we'd finished about half of this section, so we're gonna work through a little bit more with our four energy here, or four fuel, and we're actually gonna be hunting down this medical first because of, that's our current objective. Now. Of course, we got these guys. Need to figure out when to repair Corey and Jeremy, but we'll get to that later. But I do need to uh, re up that probe. So, let's go ahead and slot in another couple probes real quick. And then off we go. Kerchunk. Alright, well, no new communications, but quick check here, make remember the commands, rescue, loot, and hack. But, uh, yeah, this place is sizable. So let's start exploring. Gonna go ahead and release our little proby boy. Help locate all this wonderful uh, other such things. Get access to all of these real quick. While we uh, hack into this real quick and figure stuff out. Alrighty, a rescue too. So, yeah. That's how big this place is. And an issue with room 4. Wonderful. Now if I remember correctly, I sent Proby Boy in to take a look at room 4. Yeah, uh, guess not. Or at least not immediately. I go rummage the entirety of room 3. Including rescue of the new drone. right, I'm full up on drones. I can't remember exactly what had happened to that. Huh. That's concerning. Hmm. Now I send him to go take a look. No. There are a few infestations here, so I'm not entirely certain where they are at this point. Uh, found one, right there in room 6, which is why I flag it. 
I really need another motion detector than just the one on Wally. We're gonna go see what options we have allowed to us over here on the room 4 terminal. Mm, excuse me. Nothing too terribly different. Now we're going to try and lure whatever was in room 6 out of it. All it is at this point is a waiting game. Now because of how big this place is, the majority of this episode is going to be spent in this derelict. Ah, there it is. Finally moved. So now we can get into room six and grab whatever is in there. And it's a quarantine bypass. And then Tommy promptly gets stuck on something. There we go. Don't know why he decided to go that way around, but... Mildly irksome. But now at the very least we can get into room 5 and... loot that. And away Luke goes. So I'm gonna have to work my schedule around a little more considering that I am once more gainfully employed, so this is going to be shifted over to side gig status rather than primary, although even when it was primary, because I'm still so small, I wasn't really making much off of it. And here i trying to figure out if something was over there in room 8. And off another probe goes! I'm reasonably sure that there was no nothing in there at this point, considering how long door 15 was open. And, well, the probe just confirmed it, so... I really am glad for that, the loot, rescue, and hack commands I've created. If any of you can figure out any other commands I should combine, do feel free to tell me, because that would help me out immensely. And here I am, just scouting out with a probe, as is my usual. I need to put the motion on Luke. There we go, there's another. This one's not a rescuable, that one can only really be salvaged, essentially.
Here I go, moving. Probe up him to room 20. I'm getting four over there to room 16 so we can see what exactly this dead drone has on it. I mean, I have an undamaged quarantine bypass that I just rescued, so... That can easily replace the one I currently have. And yes, apparently Cliff sees in pink. And a teleporter. That's going to be interesting. It's like the same. Yeah, I keep doing that. It irritates me when, I happen when that happens. But, let's crack that open. And... Uh, I'm moving for motion. Away they go. It almost looked like drone one was faster than two, but not by much. Alright, so there's a baddie. Unfortunately, we have to deal with... Oh, that's right, I just teleported number four and then just looked around. And now this entire section's powered. That teleport is extremely useful. Now my probe will eventually make it there. Although at this point I probably could have gotten away with... Yeah, pretty much what I'm doing there. Although I did the wrong... Uh, did the wrong drone on that one. Probably could have hacked him into room two and then just ship scanned again. But what can he do? And unfortunately, this one does not have the uh, ship scan command, which here we go. I'm now moving it back down to room two to do that. See if I can find anything else in room 12, 10, and 19. And then it gets stuck on obstacles again. Woo. And... Oh, those are good. Eh, nothing up in room 19. At least loot-wise. to loot that. Let's try and get whatever's in room 9 out of it. There we go. A little bit of micromanaging to get our little drone buddy over there where we want them to be. And there's some fuel. That's going to help me immensely. So, we're going to move him back over there. And let's go gather that fuel real quick. And we're going to look around room 14 and 17 here with the drone, or with the probe. Uh, room 14's clear. Hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna... Room 17's clear, but it's got a lot of good stuff in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and shove this thing out the airlock. As you can see right here, but I need to find the power bank for the airlock. 
which if I remember correctly is up there in room 11. However, I can't figure out if there's anything in room 11. So, we're gonna stealth Luke here and figure it out. There we go. Power generator and two different things here. Turn off the stealth and figure out what we got here. We have a destroyed quarantine bypass and a destroyed ship surveyor. The ship surveyor, I am extremely upset that it was busted. So we're going to move our other drone up there and then just turn the gener turn the motion on. There we go, and now the entire ship is powered. And out the airlock it goes. Now, at this point I've been inside this ship here for quite a while. after looking around, I think at this point I try and commandeer the ship instead of just leaving. Although I can't remember exactly my reasoning at this point for what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'm trying to swap the motion generator onto Cliff there. And then use Wally as just a generator. Right now I'm pretty much just playing musical generators by the looks of things. And Wally about got stuck on whatever's over there in room 3, the cabinet or obstacle. gonna go over there and turn the de that generator on again. Have full access. Ah, that's right, I'm gonna try and move whatever's in room 7 out. And now it's another waiting game until room 7 clears itself. Much like that. Now we wait for room 10 to become active. And now we wait. As you've noticed, me popping the airlock last time broke door five. So there is that. There we go. Crack that open. Wait for him to move on. 
And then out the airlock he goes. Bye. Now, ship does not yet meet commandeer regulations. It took me a second to figure this out proper, but there is one more dude hiding in here. All the way up in a corner. I'm sitting here thinking, well, all rooms are verified. There's no radiation about. So, I start moving my little probie boy around up towards that corner. Quick check in room 15, see if there's anyone in here. No, there's no one in room 15. Maybe this room? Not in here either. So I'm over here like, I haven't really checked over at the other side yet. Still trying to figure out why, I have, why I'm not able to at this point. But I figured it out rather quick. So I take control of Luke and uh, go poking my nose in places. Now, nothing here in D12, up here in this room. However, there was someone hiding up there in room 19. Now I'm starting to get concerned because this guy isn't exactly moving. And my stealth is running out quick. And there goes the stealth. Now, at that point, I'm not entirely sure if it actually succeeded in moving into room 14 or if it's still in room 18. So I'm waiting for my stealth to recharge before I, you know, go poking around again. Although, granted, I could have opened up D28 and D6 again and just waited. Here we go again. Let's re-stealth up. And go see what there is to see. Now, about this point, I'm like, okay, we've been playing for almost 20 minutes on the same ship. So, this entire episode is me thoroughly exploring this one ship and then making it mine. Now you can see me cautiously poking here with Luke and it's my huh it's not in here I'm sitting here like what? For some reason at this point I thought I was probably a room over like in room 13 I was like oh I guess it's in room 14 So I wait for it to charge up again and get Luke into position. Yeah, you can see me check the timer that I've spent in this one ship. And I re-stealth and open up the door. And there it is. So I'll get Luke out of there one direction, and then wait for it to uh, make its way over into room 10, where I can 
move it into room 9 and then shove it out the airlock. Much like that. And out it goes. With a successful commandeer. I lose a little more scrap, but gain uh, ship upgrade spots. And here we are. Now, my probe's deteriorating, and I'm like, I need to repair this. I'll pull off the busted one and put on the fresh one. And if I remember correctly, I turned those other two to scrap. Because scrap is good, and scrap is great. Here we are. Convert that one into scrap. Convert that one into scrap. Should have done it with a busted quarantine bypass as well. I'll have to do that next episode if I remember proper. But we make use of this to repair some stuff, like, you know, my probe here. And fully up, uh, fully repair one of my other drones. You know, there's no upgrade slots that are needed to repair. Go up here and then work my way down to Cliff and like, hmm, I can fully repair his HP. And we can still only hold seven, so rescuing Haley did nothing for me. And there's that. Well... You guys know the drill at this point. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns down uh, underneath the video. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I don't know if I try to go after this one or not. But I don't think I do. But yeah, we're going to be hitting this medical ship next time. But, this has been Garrodine. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.